congratulations on the purchase of your new appliance. Inside the box, you'll find two separate manuals. Let's take a look at the first manual. You'll find this smaller booklet is a quick start manual. Let's get started. In this small manual, you'll find a quick and easy guide to assembling your vacuum. You'll also find there's two ways to use your vacuum. One as an upright appliance, or as a lift-away appliance. And finally, a quick manual for cleaning your vacuum. In this quick start manual, you'll find some key characteristics of your new vacuum, including, but not limited to, it never loses suction, keeps vacuuming power strong from start to finish, anti-allergen complete seal technology, extra long cleaning reach, enhanced swivel steering for easy maneuverability, Ultra quiet operation. And finally, versatile and ergonomic tools. For more detailed instructions on using your vacuum, you'll want to take a look in this instruction manual. This guide will take you through safety instructions, getting to know your vacuum, assembling your vacuum, using your vacuum in the upright mode, using your vacuum in the above floor mode, using your vacuum in lift away mode, compatible accessories, maintenance, a troubleshooting guide, and information regarding your warranty. Inside the front cover, you'll find information on how to register your purchase, as well as an area for recording the model number of your new vacuum. You'll want to be sure to take a good look through these important safety instructions. This section shows you all the parts included with your vacuum. You'll want to be sure that everything in this picture is included in the box. You'll first want to remove everything from inside of the box. You'll want to lay out all of the included parts to identify each one, as well as to confirm that no parts are missing or damaged. Though we will be taking a closer look at each accessory later in the video, let's quickly identify each part now. This is your vacuum handle. The straight suction floor nozzle with a pedal for alternating between hard floor and carpet cleaning modes.
This is your vacuum wand. You'll find some important features here that will be discussed later in the video. And here is the dusting brush. Here we have the crevice tool. This is the premium pet power brush. We'll talk more about this one later as well. and the wide upholstery tool. Now we can take a look at how to assemble your vacuum in just four easy steps. First, you'll want to place the pod onto the floor nozzle. Next, slide the wand into the base of the pod. Now, insert the handle into the top of the wand. You'll want to be sure to hear it click into place. Then attach the hose to the hose connector on the base of the pod. Simply squeeze the tabs and align the grooves of the hose and the vacuum. Then secure the hose to the hose clip by pushing the knob into its socket. Finally, you can insert the tools into their accessory clips. Here is a closer look at the handle of the vacuum. Notice its flexibility and comfort grip handle. The suction control collar is located at the base of the top handle. Suction control offers variable suction based on your needs. Slide toward minimum to minimize suction and slide toward max to maximize suction.
And now we can take a closer look at some of the accessories. The crevice tool, the dusting brush, the straight suction floor nozzle, and the wide upholstery tool. The dusting brush. It cleans hard surfaces and upholstery. This is your only accessory that has the numerous bristles around the edge of the suction end to help pick up more debris. The wide upholstery tool removes pet hair and dust from curtains and other delicate fabrics and upholstery. The soft fabric around the edges of this accessory are perfectly suited for picking up pet hair and dust. This is the crevice tool. This tool gives you extended cleaning reach in small spaces. You'll find that this accessory is the perfect shape for cleaning hard to reach surfaces like corners and underneath the furniture. The Premium Pet Power Brush is a large brush that picks up pet hair and debris and deep cleans dander on all surfaces. You'll notice that the design of this brush is perfectly suited for the job at hand. Notice the brush roll inside of this attachment to help pick up more debris. Again, we see the soft fabric around the edges of this accessory, allowing it to aid in picking up more debris. straight suction floor nozzle is designed to pick up large and small debris from all hard floor surfaces and area rugs. This attachment is perfect for cleaning hard floors without damaging the surface of the floor. Again, here is the pedal for alternating between bare floor and carpet cleaning. This attachment is also equipped with numerous wheels to allow smooth gliding across the cleaning surface. Note the bristles here. They are designed to give this attachment extra cleaning power. Notice how smoothly it glides across the surface.
Each attachment easily fits to the end of the handle or wand of the vacuum cleaner. Simply align the red part of the attachment to the end of the wand or handle. And here we've attached the wide upholstery tool. Though the straight suction for nozzle does not have a red port, it fits on to the edge of the wand in the same fashion. You'll want to be sure to take good care of your vacuum. When cleaning your vacuum, make sure that the unit is turned off and the cord is unplugged. To empty the dust cup, you'll want to pull up on the dust cup, release the latches, and lift the dust cup off the pod. The dust cup is clear, making it easy to tell when it's time to empty the canister, as indicated by the max fill line on the unit. Hold the dust cup over a trash bin and press the bottom dust cup release latch. Press the top dust cup release latch to access dust screen and remove built up debris as required. This is the foam filter, the filter frame, and underneath you'll find a felt filter. To clean your filters, the pre-motor foam and felt filters. With the dust cup removed, take out the foam and felt filters and rinse with water. Tap loose dirt off filters between washes as needed. For the post motor or HEPA filter, press the button on top of the grill and pull the grill away from the vacuum. Remove and rinse the HEPA filter. You'll want to hand wash all filters with water only to prevent damage from cleaning chemicals. Allow all filters to dry completely before replacing in the vacuum to prevent liquid from being drawn into the electrical parts. Now we can take a look at how to use your vacuum in the upright mode. First, plug the power cord into an outlet, then place your foot on the floor nozzle and tilt the handle back. Press the power button to clean hard floor surfaces, area rugs, or above floor. The brush roll will not spin in this mode. You'll want to press the power and the brush roll button to clean carpets. The brush roll indicator light will illuminate green. The brush roll will spin only when the vacuum is reclined and the brush roll indicator light is green. 
to use your vacuum in the above floor mode. Press the handle release button when you need to clean within short reach. Press the wand release button on the pod when you need to clean with a longer reach. You can insert the wand or handle directly into the desired tool and pivot back to release the tool from the clip. The lift away feature allows you to remove the pod from the floor nozzle to easily clean stairs, above floor areas with accessories, or hard floors with hard floor attachments. To use your vacuum in the lift away cleaning mode, press the lift away button to lift the pod off of the floor nozzle. You'll hear a click when the pod is correctly placed back onto the unit. Press the handle release button when you need to clean within short reach. Or you can press the wand release button on the pod when you need to clean with a longer reach. Attach your desired cleaning tool to the end of the handle or the wand. You'll want to take notice of the green brush roll indicator light. If the light is solid green, this means the brush roll is on and working as it should. If the light is solid red, this means there is a jam in the brush roll area. Turn your vacuum off and remove the blockage. If there's no light on, the brush roll is off. To turn it on, press the brush roll button. The light should turn green and the brush roll should spin. Notice there are headlights on the front of the vacuum. You'll see shortly how useful these lights can be. You'll want to be sure that when the vacuum is not in use, you wrap the cord around the cord hooks, shown here. And here you'll find some tips for maintenance of your vacuum. You'll always want to check for blockages in the brush roll and the hose. You'll want to check regularly for any blockages in any part of the vacuum. To check the bottom of the floor nozzle, using a coin, turn the screws to the unlock position and pull up to expose the airway. Remove the blockage. Remove any string, hair, or debris that may be wrapped around the brush roll. To remove the hose cuff at the base of the pod, squeeze the tabs and remove. Open the clog access knob on the side of the pod to remove any blockages that may be in this area. In the back, you'll find some more instructions and the troubleshooting guide. And finally, information regarding the five-year limited warranty. Now let's take a look at your vacuum in action. Here you can see how well the area to be vacuumed is illuminated to aid in a thorough cleaning. Notice the easy maneuverability of the vacuum base.
Now that you've gone through all of the special characteristics and features of your new appliance with the proper care and handling of your vacuum, we're sure that you'll be very happy with your purchase. Thank you again for choosing this vacuum.